Banjo and Kazooie are well-rounded characters who excel at zoning, ledge trapping, and overall stage control. They have a relatively easy time transitioning from aggression to defense, which makes their play style extremely variable. With that being said, the general strategy is to limit an opponent's options and win through a battle of attrition. As a result, the duo rely more on playing a solid neutral and advantage state, rather than stringing together long combos, which also means that Banjo and Kazooie will lightly appeal to players who are more patient and willing to play more tactically. The tandem is also blessed with a very flexible recovery and high weight, which allows them to stay alive longer than usual. Their survivability is heightened by their exceptional zoning tools that make it hard to approach and get even any solid hits on them. Like most zoners, Banjo and Kazooie tend to struggle against rushdown characters that close distance fast. Their boxing tools up close are pretty mediocre, which is only made worse by their lack of safe landing options. To exacerbate things even further, their out of shield options are quite underwhelming, limited to shield grabs, rising nair, and back air for cross ups. Altogether, this makes Banjo and Kazooie very snowball-y. If they maintain a neutral and advantage state, they can hold it for a long time and slowly but surely increase their lead. If they lose stage control, however, they're forced into very dicey situations, where their zoning tools become a liability. This is why it's important to find a balance between defense and aggression, as an imbalance will cause you to lose neutral over and over again. Banjo's jab is a basic series of claw swipes. If you hold down the attack button, it'll turn into a gentleman, while rapidly tapping will give you the rapid jab. While neither can start a combo, both forms can be useful in their own ways. The gentleman launches up, which can potentially set up a juggle, while the rapid jab sends horizontally, making it useful for launching an opponent offstage to set up for a ledge trap. Like most other jabs, it can be used to jab lock or simply cover a tech option due to its multi-hit nature. And at low percents, it serves as a whiff punish and combo finisher to get quick damage. F-Tilt is a quick beak stab with Kazooie that can be angled up, straight, and down, depending on your inputs. Angled up can be used as a quick anti-air, while angled down can be a decent two-frame punish or a ledge trapping tool. Something to note is that Kazooie does not have a hurt box, meaning F-Tilt is technically a disjoint. Similar to Jab, the move isn't designed to start combos, rather to finish them, which can typically follow a dash attack, forward air, and back air. Outside of Jab, it is Banjo's fastest ground adoption and one of his main ways to box. This is mainly due to the extremely low end lag, which allows Banjo to follow up with another tilt or run away to reset the situation. His up tilt is a strong kick designed to anti-air and take a stock. It does not reach very far in front, meaning it can whiff against characters standing right next to him. Though if you do connect the hit, the high knockback makes for a devastating kill. Your best option to combo is from a down throw at high percents if your opponent attempts to mash out, though it will likely whiff against opponents who do not mash. Outside of this, there are a number of ways to combo with up tilt, but the spacing and percent windows are so niche, many are considered irrelevant or too risky to go for. Down tilt is a low beak stab, sending opponents at a hard horizontal angle. It has a strong hit and a lingering weak hit. While the strong hit is more equipped for taking a stock at high percents, the weak hit stays out for quite a while, making it more suited for option coverage and ledge trapping. Connecting the sour spot at low percents will set up a tech situation. It is one of the few down tilts that can cross up on shield, which can catch players by surprise. And even if they are expecting the cross up, you're still in a very good position since there is no risk of you getting grabbed. It also is Banjo's primary tool to catch a two frame, which combined with his projectiles can make his ledge trapping extremely oppressive. Dash Attack is a fast somersault which launches up and away. It has a strong and lingering weak hit, both of which have their different uses. The strong hit will not start combos and is typically only used as a burst option. Connecting the weak hit can potentially lead into an F tilt or jabs at low percents. It is a pretty committal move and you'll only want to use it in conjunction with a projectile to mix up your pressure.
F Smash is a brutal swing down of Kazooie. How she doesn't get hurt or take damage is beyond me, but regardless, the move is very basic smash attack in terms of speed, power, and reliability. It can't be used for hard reads or punished with attacks. Where it shines is the fact that it's a disjoint, which can make it relatively difficult to punish. With that being said, it is one of Banjo's slowest attacks, and probably shouldn't be used for anything more than what was previously mentioned. Up Smash is Banjo's fastest smash attack, functioning as a fantastic out of shield option. With a combination of decent range and the ability to cover both sides, the move is a great defensive option whenever Banjo gets trapped in his shield. Outside of this, you can opt to use it out of a drag down neutral air for a mix up, which can make for a flashy kill if done out of a down throw. Down Smash is a relatively quick wing whack down, covering both sides of Banjo and sending up and away. There isn't a ton of end lag, which can make it hard to punish for some characters. However, its main use comes from reading opponents at the ledge, due to the amount of ground it can cover. Its other uses are out of a down throw at high percents, which, if the opponent doesn't mash, will combo and take the stock. Neutral Air is a spinning multi-hit designed to cover space and push Banjo's neutral and advantage states. The move has four hitboxes designed to pull the opponent towards Banjo, while the last hit launches out. It can only be auto-canceled out of a full hop, which limits its effectiveness as a combo starter. Though, if you land with only the last hit, you can combo into an aerial at low percents. Really, the best way to combo with Nair is to land so the launching hit doesn't come out. If done correctly, this will plop the opponent right in front of Banjo, which can lead into grabs, jab, or an up smash as a mix-up. Outside of combos, it's an incredible move for option coverage and pressure, especially on platforms. Forward Air is a powerful haymaker, dealing high damage and knockback. It has a strong hit at the start, followed by a lingering weak hit, both of which have their uses for combos, KOs, and option coverage. At low percents, landing fair can lead into jabs, grab, dash attack, or F-tilt depending on your spacing, but where it really shines is in neutral. Combined with an arsenal of projectiles, Banjo can cover a multitude of options to force out a jump or approach, which adds pressure and compensates for Forward Air's slow startup. Add in multiple jumps, and Banjo can consistently condition his opponents until he finds a time to go in. The last main use comes in the form of ledge trapping, where its low landing lag and lingering hitboxes allow Banjo to cover a variety of options. While nothing is a true trap, Banjo can effectively cover get up attack, jump, roll, and even neutral getup with good timing. While this can be countered by waiting at the ledge or a well-timed neutral getup, Banjo's projectiles can cover those options to force out some kind of reaction. Back air is a fast three-part beak stab, where the first two hits pull the opponent in while the last hit launches away. The only exception is if you hit with the tip of the beak, which will send up with low scale knockback. There are two main ways to use this move, first of which is landing. Landing with the tipper hit can combo into up and F tilt, but the spacing is really, really precise. Instead, you'll likely have a better time landing with the first or second hits and comboing into F tilt for chip damage. Landing with the last hit can generally lead into jabs, grab, dash attack, or F tilt at low percents. The other way to use this move is buffering out of a jump. This is generally used for anti airs edge guarding, and out of shield options to punish cross ups.
Up air is Banjo's fastest and arguably strangest aerial. It is a disjointed two-part wing clap where the first hit has low scalable knockback so it can lead into the launching hit. The first hit has a variety of hitboxes. Connecting the outer parts of the wing will send the opponent towards Banjo, while hitting anywhere else will simply launch straight up. Both hitboxes have a lot of combo potential since their knockback scales very slowly. The only drawback is that landing with up air is a big commitment and not really safe. If you are sold on comboing with the move, your best bet is to land with the second hit, as the knockback is low enough where you can follow up at most percents. Realistically, you're mainly going to be using up air to juggle and maintain your advantage state. Downer is a disjointed stall and fall that spikes at the beginning and sends up for the rest. It has a landing hitbox that comes out the frame Banjo touches the ground, making it a solid mix-up when trying to land. It's a big commitment however and will get punished against anyone who expects it. Downer offstage is almost certain death. The only way to survive is if you are holding a grenade, which will explode in your hand and allow you to get back. To do this, jump back and spawn a grenade. Catch the grenade with down air, then up special as soon as you can. If done correctly, the grenade should explode after you up special, which will allow you to recover again. Overall, it's Banjo's least useful aerial and should be used sparingly. Now we get to Banjo specials, which are the bread and butter for his neutral, advantage, and disadvantage states, as they allow him to control the pace of the game. Egg firing turns Kazooie into a blaster, firing a steady rate of eggs that linger for a long time. The eggs decrease in damage and knockback the longer they are out, until they disappear completely. If you hold special, the move will transition into Breagle Blaster, a faster but shorter ranged attack mainly used for mix-ups and setting up tech situations on platforms. The nice part about Breagle Blaster is you are free to move and jump while in the mode, and you can cancel it by pressing shield or holding down on your control stick. There are two main ways to use this move, offensively and defensively. Offensively, you're looking to use the eggs to allow you to approach and limit their options. This can be done either by shooting directly at them to force a shield or jump away, or to shoot above or below to limit where they can go, both of which can lead to an anti-air, grab, or some other grounded option. However, you'll find more success using it in a defensive manner. Your main goal in defense is to maintain stage control and force out a bad approach, which you can punish. This is done by shooting eggs in the general direction to close off certain parts of the stage. Your goal is to force your opponent into one option, which you can then punish. Finally, we have ledge trapping. Due to the egg's long-lasting hitbox, they have the ability to cover multiple get-up options. This means that in some situations, Banjo will only need to cover one or two options that the eggs don't cover, which can quickly rack up damage. Wonder Wing is probably the weirdest side special in the entire game. Banjo is completely invincible during the move, while also speeding ahead for a ton of damage and knockback, potentially resulting in really early kills off the side. The drawbacks are that it comes out on frame 18, which is very very slow, has a ton of end lag, leaving you wide open if you miss, and only has 5 uses per stock. Not to mention any grabs will bypass the invincibility. Other than taking a stock, its other uses are for option coverage and recovery, which is actually where the move shines the most, since most characters can't bypass the invincibility. 
the only way to combo into Wonder Wing is from a grenade, or if a person does not mash out of a down throw at really high percents, but at that point you probably should have gone for down smash anyways. Shock Spring Jump is Banjo's main tool to recover vertically. There are two different heights, the short and the tall, which is done by holding special. Banjo will have around 3 frames of intangibility right as he jumps off the spring, but will be vulnerable for the rest. Unlike most up specials, Shock Spring Jump does not put Banjo in freefall, meaning you can act right after you up B. This makes for a very flexible recovery, as you aren't pigeonholed into burning your jumps or specials. This also allows Banjo to run away from an invincible opponent after taking a stock, though this will put you in a position where you have to land. When used in the air, the spring becomes an active hitbox, which can be used to gimp recoveries that don't respect it. Last but certainly not least is Rear Egg. Banjo pops out a grenade that will explode on impact or just after 2 seconds. As Sakurai mentioned in the character showcase, the grenade is football shaped, meaning it will bounce at very inconsistent angles. It is a throwable item, meaning Banjo, or anyone for that matter, can pick it up and throw it. But it must be caught and thrown quickly due to the quick timer on the explosion. Quite frankly, this is Banjo's most important tool to master as it will be your main tool in all major game states. As for combos, the grenade can combo into basically every single move at virtually all percents, but here are a few bread and butter combos to get you started. Just know that the combo potential expands beyond what is shown here. Similar to egg firing, rear egg in neutral is all about controlling the stage and covering your opponent's options. To do this, you'll need to know the three main ways to input your rear egg. There's the normal input, which is just a simple down B. Turn around rear egg, which is done by drifting one way, angling your control stick in the opposite direction, then down B. And B reverse, which is done by drifting one way, down B, then flick your stick in the opposite direction. These three variants of the rear egg are important because it positions Banjo wherever he needs to be to have an advantage. The normal rear egg is typically used when retreating or trying to land, as it puts the grenade in the way of anyone trying to chase you. One notable technique with this allows for a hard to punish ledge getup. This is done by dropping ledge, double jumping away from the stage, then down B, which will pop a grenade onto the stage, forcing your opponent to back off and allow you back on stage. The turnaround special can be used offensively, as Banjo will land with the grenade to push his advantage state, or apply pressure after the grenade connects. This also allows Banjo to easily catch the grenade once he spawns it in. To do this, perform a full hop or short hop, turnaround special, then Z catch. To perform a C catch, drift towards the projectile, then tap your grab button while you are in neutral on this control stick. This technique allows Banjo to have a quick and easy projectile that he can throw whenever he wants. The B reverse grenade is a more defensive and conditioning movement option, which allows you to see how your opponent responds to your grenade, in addition to easily retreating away to reset the situation.
Finally, we have Banjo's throws, which, aside from one, are very straightforward with what they do. His forward throw is a quick kick that can force a tech situation at low percents, though most floaty characters can escape by DI'ing up and jumping. Other than that, its only other use is to send opponents off stage to set up a ledge trap. Back throw is your main kill throw, or getting opponents off stage. It doesn't combo into anything, but does do considerable damage, where it might be worth going for. Up throw is specifically designed to set up juggle situations. There is no combo potential, but it just puts your opponents in a very bad spot. Down throw buries your opponents. It is extremely easy to mash out, meaning this throw is only useful at high percents. Around 100%, you can punish a mash out with an up air or neutral air as a mix up. If they don't mash, a down smash should work just fine. Upwards of 120 to 140% is where a down throw into up tilt starts working. If they don't mash, you can basically follow up with anything. How successful you are with Banjo is dictated by how well you can control the stage, and a good Banjo player should have the abilities to cover an opponent's options, then punish whatever option they go with. This is mainly done with rear egg and egg firing, as both projectiles have long-lasting hitboxes that deal considerable chip damage and even set up for a combo. Rear egg can force out an aerial approach or shield, both of which can be punished with an anti-air or grab respectively. Alternatively, the grenade can be used on platforms to cover jumps, which leaves Banjo to cover the ground. And if they decide to dash back to avoid the egg entirely, you've successfully taken control of the stage, which should allow you to further pressure with more projectiles to find an opening to go in. Egg firing is generally used to cover any option that rear egg didn't, or to double down on that option not being available. Just like the grenade, egg firing eggs bounce and stay out for a shockingly long time, which allows them to cover space and be annoying in general. The goal of option coverage isn't necessarily to deal massive damage, rather to put your opponent in a situation where any option they choose will result in damage that will rack up as the battle drags on. And if done correctly, Banjo has successfully won neutral and can now transition into advantage state, which usually entails setting up for a ledge trap with rear egg or catching a landing with dash attack, grab, or anything else. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something useful. These videos take a lot of hard work to make, so if you did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing if you would like to see more. If you have a suggestion for me for another character you want me to cover, let me know in a comment below. That's all I have for now, and I will see you all later. Peace out.